So I'm going to try and stay as calm as possible while we discuss this topic. The NES Classic Edition discontinued. On April 13th, it announced the end for the console. And there's going to be the last shipments to retailers this month. So I'm having Rich and Moe camp out with me at a Best Buy. What day? Sorry, I'm busy. When, <laughs> when they make an announcement, I'll give you guys a quick text. Don't worry, I'll have the tent. I'll have all the toys already. We'll, we'll play Nintendo Switch in line. So the so console, PTs. it launched. Right, we'll, be at, we'll be at the bar. Make, make your own little episode. So it launched on November 10th, 2016. And on April 13th, they announced it is being discontinued. Um, again, I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool. Let it out. I'm trying to keep my cool. Yeah, I think this would be a good therapy session for me. So on the day they announced that it's being discontinued on eBay... It was it was being sold at a rate of two per minute, and the average price was three hundred and thirty-two dollars. Was the average for an item that is sixty dollars being sold for an average of three hundred and thirty-two dollars the day they made the announcement that it is being discontinued. So I'll let you boys speak first about this before, so I can catch my breath. Who the fuck buys an NES Classic for fucking three hundred dollars? Who the fuck buys an NES Classic when you get emulators for free and you didn't play those games in the first fucking place? Let's be honest. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, seriously. Who? Why? So you can sell it for 500 And yeah, that's the problem right there. <laughs> Which I will probably buy. Do I want a Scorpio or NES Classic Edition? Each one's going to be $500. Which one do I want? You'll buy the NES Classic. I already know. The NES Classic Edition. Yeah. So, Rich, what, why? Why? Oh, this would be where you put the link to our previous episodes where I've clearly stated why I thought that this and the, the Switch are horrible ideas. Because it was only, it was a cash grab. It was, they didn't have a system that was available. They had delayed Zelda either because of design problems or because they were waiting for the Switch launch. I'm hoping it's the second. I think that's probably why they delayed it because it was supposed to be for holidays, right? And they needed something to keep mind share and to fill that gap and that they could easily churn out and make a bunch of money off of, which they did. And they've shown you what I said, which is they only want to make money and they don't think about their customer base. They just think about what you're dumb enough to buy. So they made it available for a couple of months. They cashed in, they cashed out. They're hit and run artists. I don't think that that's the future of the business. It could be if we allow it, if we keep spending money on it, which is why I keep yelling and saying, don't do this. I want Mario to be here for my kids, my kids' kids, my my great my great grandkids, on and on. I want to be here for for generations, but it won't be. It'll be a little blip in mankind's history if we keep just being greedy and trying to get things. That's what this was, and it's all nostalgia. Because here's the thing: as many games as you have in your backlog, do you have the time to play any of these games, let alone all of them? And yet you are so incensed to buy it. Because you bought it in the marketing, am. and I—it's fine. You want what you want. We all have those things, but like us with Mass Effect, we love Mass Effect so much that even when those bad reviews came out, we still bought still it. Got I've right. had numerous problems with it, as I've documented here. I'm still playing it through, and I'm probably going to do a second playthrough, just not back to back. But I'm already—I was playing it, going, oh, I want to make this last a little bit longer because I was getting near the end and enjoying the ride. I didn't like all the hiccups, but but if you keep buying into this marketing shit, they're going to keep shoveling it to you. You have to stand up and go, not enough is enough, but here's the line. Can you go right up the line and not over it? And then eventually you draw that line out. But as long as you keep backing up, they're going to keep pushing it where eventually you're going to pay them, you know, $60 for it, an IOU. You won't even get a game, a system or anything. It'll be, you get $60 to hear the Nintendo Direct press conference. I don't think that we should be that, that you have to pay pay good money to, to sit and listen to their marketing bullshit. We're on the verge of it with E3. They're going to do this if you keep letting them. We're we're their customers and we're already adopting what they're giving us. Wait, to charge for like the live stream? Yeah. Watch. They will eventually go that way because as we've had... I'm actually other... surprised they haven't. Exactly. Because people will pay for it. I would pay for it. 
And it, you know it's something that within five minutes of the thing being announced, it will be online. It'll be on everywhere. They'll just be, well, we can't link directly to it. But it was discussed. Yeah. Like, I heard all day today about Captain Marvel's costume that everybody saw the design specs for at the open house at uh, Marvel Films today, really or this last that? week. Yeah. But they can't show pictures because it was press only and mm. it's... NDAs, but they could tell you about, and they basically are like, well, we went on DeviantArt, we basically found the same thing. So imagine this: this is what it is. Just imagine that's Brie Larson's face instead of the 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 artist rendering from uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick's run from uh, the all new, all different Captain Marvel. That's you don't need to buy this stuff, and that's why you're disappointed. Is because when they sell you smoke and mirrors, and you're looking for substance. But, but what's you, so smoke and mirrors about the? They promised you something that they couldn't deliver. They said, we're going to give you back that nostalgia, that little piece of your childhood. We're going to give you access to it again and in a slightly better way. And you said, yes, I'm down. Take my money now. And they said, hang on, sport. I don't want to take your money. They're like, but you're in business. I'm going to, I've got the money. I'm willing to give it to you. Oh, it's not that simple. Here's some hoops to jump through. Oh, we're only sending four to every Best Buy. Or get in line at Best Buy at four in the morning. And even then, in uh, December, they, they they sold us a case allotment of in the eight, desert. We've already got two pre-orders. Plus, I'll be honest, the the assistant manager's girlfriend wants one, so I'm only gonna have five available on the floor. And no, it's bullshit. And then only the scalpers got to them. Mm-hmm. And then that's and just, they sold them. And they sold them, and the price goes up and up and up and up. And, and Nintendo sorry. is fully aware of all this stuff. In fact, I'm I wouldn't be surprised. If that becomes the next thing is when we get to the third version of Amiibos, that they have their own little store that links directly through the Switch home screen. And you go there and you have your own Nintendo eBay store where you can buy, oh, yes, I got all those Fire Emblem characters that you can't find anywhere. You know, because it's got the weird paint variant. It's only $350 for a set of three. So you think the idea was, you know, let's put something out in the holiday Because Nintendo didn't have anything, really. Yeah. For the holidays. It was market share and it was a good time to cash in. Put something out until the Switch. The Switch is now successful during the, the beginning. Other, and then The only other thing you could have done is release the Switch before you had it manufactured so you couldn't do that. Or somehow convince people to buy a console that everybody had skipped over. And the Wii U was a huge failure. There was no way to convince them, buy it yeah. and then buy these two games that we didn't really invest in those either. Because you didn't have the marquee titles that were going to be system sellers. Because all their their marquee stuff was already out and it hadn't sold the systems, there was no way to have a surprise come out because nothing was ready. What, so. what was what was Nintendo's excuse for not having that many systems that their manufacturing couldn't keep up? But then you have a shit ton of switches out there. Yeah, yeah. But Bullshit. even that is that they're falling behind with the yeah. But so, they, how many the people demand. bought no, a switch? No, I'll, t- I'll tell you exactly what it's it's the United flight. I'll go I'll go more with the the stuff that's on the news right now. I have 100 seats, I sell 100 tickets, but I always know that I'm going to have to transfer crew from one city to another, so I may have anywhere from zero all the way up to eight that need to be accommodated on this flight. So then put a, put a crew section, and then if you get to the end of it, you know two hours before that flight's going to take off, guess what? I only have six of the eight seats spoken for, so I got two in the crew section that I can sell or put standby people on. As opposed to, I already boarded the plane and went, oh yeah, guess what? Four people last minute when we're still sitting at the gate and people are already on the plane. Anybody want to volunteer? Oh, you don't? I'm going to call the police. That's the kind of behavior you have when people are, are not focused on how to do business right. But they've had supply uh, issues since day one, since launch. But it's because they're not managing it right. If you, again, if you work in any industry and you oversell... That's a great problem to have, except every time you do that, there's going to be somebody. You know how much I spend on entertainment, especially video games. And I'm one of those people that has drawn the line and has drawn it for over five years of I ain't buying Nintendo shit anymore. And I'm a guy that that would spend on it. I'm exactly what you want in your back pocket, and you forced me out there. How many other people are in the same Which I don't blame... Like the time that you jumped out off Nintendo, like I don't blame you. I completely understand and how why you did that. And other people did because it was yeah. all smoke and mirrors, which I, is what I'm saying. And you're right now. You're probably not going to jump it because you're not as you're not as passionate or stubborn as I can be. But you are feeling a deep regret that that this didn't go your way. If you had a couple of these pile up, this could be one of those fuck Nintendo, fuck Destiny, and you'd be out the door. So this is the statement from Nintendo. About the classic edition. 
Throughout April, NOA territories will receive the last shipment of Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition systems for this year. We encourage anyone interested in obtaining the system to check with retail outlets regarding availability. We understand that it has been difficult for many consumers to find a system, fucking understatement, and for that we apologize. Fuck you. We have paid close attention to consumer feedback. Sure you have. And we greatly appreciate the incredible level of consumer interest. No, you fucking don't. And support for this product. You support for this product, but you're going to fucking discontinue it. Fuck you. So this was actually brought up. Rich actually sent me a text. Was it about a month and a half ago when it was first brought up when they're actually going to lower the shipments? Because you first sent it to me. Yeah. Sent it to us, actually. Because mm-hmm. people were talking about, no, it's, yeah. and they came out and said, no, no, we're not stopping. The, yep. That it got wrong. rumored out, it broke. This is all bullshit. No, don't believe the hype. That's all internet conjecture. And then finally, Nintendo made it official, sure. discontinued. So about a week before Christmas, uh, they made a big announcement. L- largest shipments going out to retailers uh, the week before Christmas. So Best Buy, again, I got in line like at 4 in the morning for Best Buy to get the NES Classic Edition. And they had 50 of them. So they had a large shipment. They had 50. Um, I got in line at, I, I believe, I think I woke up at 4. So they opened at 7, around 4.30, I think, I got in line because they start handing out tickets at 6 a.m. Um, so I got in line around 4.30. Again, it's, it's cold in Las Vegas in December. Everyone thinks it's all hot, but it gets cold out here. And I once I saw the line, like I have no chance. Like, you know how many they have. I think I was probably 100 in line. So I don't feel as bad. I would have felt bad if I was like number 51 or 52 yeah. and they had 50. Um, then I would have been fucking devastated. Well, and was Best Buy, do you know if they were limiting like one per, per group or one, one per customer? One per customer. But then one per customer if someone brings their wife. Yeah, that's two. In. So there's there's yeah, two. You could be number 50 just, in line, but guess what? We only had 38 technically because we yeah. had all these people that you were just. Up. One per customer, and no one knew how many there were. So again, everyone then started handing the tickets out at six a.m., and then that was the end. Um, it was something I still want it. I'm still debating if the, it would probably be posted online. Like this is the last shipment. How bad do I really want it, or do I take the chance that they're going to do a refresher and do it again? Like, all right, want to start over and like. A year or two, do a Super Nintendo where you can actually download more games because it was just the 30 standard games. But the reason why I really wanted it, and everyone was making a big deal with the cable being short, just buy an extension. I had no no issue with the, the cable no, being that's short. The thing is, if it's not usable in its regular state, it wasn't. Then that's that's a problem. That's you giving the finger to your customers. But it was worth $70. $60 plus $10. That was. Why is it worth that to you? Because you get 30 games. Again, these are one of like the best games of all time. You get Legend of Zelda 2, Castlevania. I love those two Castlevania games. And again, if I have an NES. So you can't tell. I have an NES. Once you hook it up to my HD TV, it looks like shit. So with this NES, again, the first emulator that I'm aware of, that you can actually change those three different settings for each game. And you can actually save it in-game. So I can't do that if I get NES or any of the emulators that I'm aware of. If there is, please let me know in the comments. There's some options, but yeah, yeah it, it was so very so ease of use. That you can, ease of use, you can have four saves per game. So Mario 3, I can save it at any time. I can turn off and then reset no matter where I am in the level. I can't do that with my NES or Super Nintendo. Well, it's NES. So that bought in and there's three different settings, as in do you want the regular pixel or do you want it to look great on the HD? They'll be able to change the settings which I can't do with what I have. So in that in itself, and $60, I think $60 was the perfect sweet spot as in absolutely. Which is what I was saying though, is it was the perfect, if they had enough, this is how you would market it, is you'd have the switch available, but as you're going either at the end cap or right there in the, the aisle for the cash register, you have NES Classics. 
and they're like, oh, it's only 60 bucks, and it's got 30 games, and it's got the controller, and I'll remember. That this is what I had when I was your age, and you've got your kids with you, and you, you're you buying 300 plus you bought Zelda, and then you're like, what's another 60 bucks? I'm already going to be spending 450 with tax anyways. With, let's bump it up to 500 and make them extra happy for Christmas. That's what the idea should have been. That's what you were sold on, but they didn't deliver one fucking bit on it. That's why I'm pissed. No, I'm fucking livid. I'm fucking beyond pissed because I was in denial. <laughs> Rich sent me th- that text, and again, it was about six weeks ago around there when they made the announcement. No, and, and a lot of people did go back and say, no, no, that was just yep. bullshit conjecture and rumors. Yep. Nintendo released an official statement. I said, I missed, maybe I don't know. Yep. I read it four different fucking sites. They were all sure that their sources were good. Because I was saying that like, they lowered production so they can focus on the Switch and then get back. But then I was saying, in, as in how much profit can you make of it by creating the product get the license game, ship the retailers, like, is it really worth it to them at the $60 point well, of how much profit they're making? They, they don't understand that they need to evolve like all media. You, we all go to the store, whether it's Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, whatever, and every once in a while, you'll have one of those great big blockbusters that's paired up with similar titles or it's sequels. Like, you get a collection of, oh, it's all the Fast and the Furious movies for, for $40, and I get the, the seven that came out because number eight's about to come out. And they put it in one collection. And you get it like that. So why are they not doing stuff like that? If, if you're in the book market, yeah, it's it's nice to have the original copy, that original first printing, and it's still got the original binding and stuff. But if you just want to read Sherlock Holmes and you can get six books in one anthology, you just want to read or you want to download it on your Kindle, that's, that's perfect. But you don't charge somebody $60 for shit that if I had bought it originally would have cost me $15 for all six. You, you don't mark it up like that, especially when you're talking 20 years later. Well, the virtual console, ridiculous. those games are $5 each on the, on, on the virtual console. Because they're overpricing, and that's part of the problem why they, they don't have the same adoption is because they've they've said, here's what we value it at. But I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of physical copies because if it's something that doesn't have a server, you can't take it away from me. But there are ways that if, if my system, you know, Red Ring, that was one of those 360 things, you never know for sure. If something's been taken off the, the online store, am I going to be able to download it again? Because your license expired? Why the fuck do you not have a lifetime license? Because I'm sure everybody was worried about Ninja Turtles in time, that they needed to pr- protect <laughs> that IP. God forbid we sell it more than the six months of that original launch window on the Xbox Arcade. That's ridiculous. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Or your account gets hacked. Then how do you get those... Those. Yeah, you don't get it back. Yeah. And how do you prove yourself? Yeah, because one thing to be out the money for you know if you would download it, played it, and you got the little nostalgia bump. But Steve was thinking like, when I have kids, I'm going to show them because these are as you keep. That's saying, what I wanted. These are some of the greatest show, of all yeah. time. He wants to be able to go Super Mario Brothers. Stream. Let me show you how it was done back in the day, son. Yeah. And he wanted to show them as opposed to telling them or showing them screenshots or yeah. well, it doesn't look good on my TV, but imagine. They yeah. don't have any concept of that. Yeah. I get what you were doing. So I want the easy plug and play. I want an HDMI they and they plug They don't let in. us do that. They don't want us to do that. They want us to keep buying it. If you're going to do an HD remaster, I kind of get your point where you're like, I'll pay some money if they upscaled it and let me save when I couldn't before. Those are good innovations. Yeah. I don't like the price point, which we could talk about your, your business model, mm-hmm. but I get the understanding. I see the value in that. But if you're just churning out the same shit, then that's where I look at you and I go... You give me six bucks, we'll get you a fucking USB drive, and I'll download emulators, and I'll get you 3,000 fucking games. And you can use the original controller if you get the right attachment for your computer or your laptop or whatever. You'll be just as happy. But they don't want us to do that, and I understand why they don't. But if you're not going to make it readily available, this is a guy that was trying to give you $60. He said, take my money. I'd even pay more than 60. Wait, yeah, exactly. (laughs) You suckered him in. Just like you suckered me and many others, try to convince us, and you wouldn't let us give you our money, then fuck you. I'll go find another way. Because I would have no idea how to plug in the NES to my 4K TV. I I wouldn't know how. So with all the the plugins, it's make it very simple now. Because HDMI aren't even part of the TV anymore. It's its own box. No, there's a converter you need. Yeah. Yeah. It's a box. It's not, you know, on on the TV. Um, So I... Still really want one again, exactly, because, you know, when I do have kids, you know, I want to show them this is, it's very easy, just plug in and play, I don't have to do all these wires for NES, I hope they learn their lesson, again, I'm still in the five stages of grief, 
Seriously, I'm in the five stages of grief with this. This hit me. This cut me deep. Cut me deep. Hit me hard off a $60 stupid little machine. And I'm fucking pissed. Of how bad I wanted this motherfucker. And I'm not used to not getting what I want. <laughs> so this is a good lesson for me. Not getting what I want. Me pouting like a little bitch. Wait till your hair falls out. Yeah, he'll be here soon. Don't steal my gimmick. <laughs> a Super Nintendo. If they come up with a Super Nintendo, learn their lesson from this. Have a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I will fucking camp out 24 hours for a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So you're not burned. Here's, here's where our argument comes in. Even if I get my way, but what if there's another Steve out there? And he gets burned like you just got burned on this one, on the SNES Classic. But you get yours. Well, fuck that guy because I got mine. That's not a, I don't think that that's a valid argument. I get why you feel that way, but just because you win the lottery in that case doesn't mean the problem still doesn't exist. You just don't experience it the same way. N there's still a fucking problem, as in when they do this from Nintendo, you know the fucking demand. Like, I don't understand how Nintendo fucks up the supply. They did it for the Wii. They didn't fuck it up. They did this Amiibo. on purpose. They do scarcity to to be able to have the headlines if we're sold out. Because then that makes it even more in demand. And they don't control the secondary market. They only care about the primary. They're creating a black market. <sighs> they're, they're doing it to themselves. And they're hurting their own fan base. Because eventually these people will, will grow old and grow tired of this bullshit. My heart's hurting. Well, and there's it, only so many times you're going to spend $300 for a $60 purchase. And, and that brings a, like, a separate point too. Like PlayStation 2, remember when there was nothing you couldn't find one? And the goddamn like world, it, it went on till like almost May of the next year. Yeah. What has PlayStation done that that ever again? No. Nope. Or Sony? I mean, I mean, Sony yeah. hasn't done that. Yeah. I'm sure. Well, Xbox they learned the they that. learned the supply because PS4 is, I believe, the fastest selling console ever because they learned the supply. They had enough supply yeah. for the demand, and that's why PS4 is kicking but, so much ass right now. That, that's that I mean that's business. They learned their that's, lesson. That's a good business. And certainly. Nintendo has been doing this since. I, at least Nintendo 64, where I was cognizant of we were having issues with the supply chain. Remember, I was in retail at Toys R Us mm -hmm. when that came out. So I saw it from that end. And then as a consumer, and remember the Wii? The how, Wii. How much like that was year. on eBay? It was selling yeah. for $1,200, $2,000, somewhere yeah. in there. Be for a $200, $250 yeah. purchase? That's ridiculous. Yeah. The Wii yeah. and Amiibos. Like, those two. Like, and it, the, and the Wii U, if it would have been a decent system, would have done the same thing. But nobody gave a fuck. And yeah. that's my point. If Nintendo doesn't give a fuck, why do we? We're making our own fucking aggravation. Yeah. Drop it. Make them only make Zelda games. Instead of you having to buy a fucking Joy-Con for $80, which is a stupid fucking idea that none of you really care about in the first place. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, like, they're You're not getting heated enough. No. I need some more no, passion like, here. I I'm... Reggie, I'm trying to. You got God your goddamn mind. <laughs> Reggie, you got your goddamn mind. No, you son no, of a bitch. No, that statement that they said, absolute fucking bullshit. It is. Like we understand the consumer apologize. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Unbelievable. They just re Unacceptable. You. That's all it was. Unacceptable. Not buying in that bullshit. But again, hopefully this is a lesson learned. Again, I'll be in the acceptance phase but of my five stages of grief. But that's what we're saying. This is not a lesson learned. This is 15 to 20 years. Yeah, it was 96, wasn't it? Was the Nintendo 64? Yeah, September 96. We're at 20 years of them doing this, and they've only gotten better at it as far as being crafty and fucking over their own consumer base. And I told you, I'm one of those people that you fuck me right out of buying any of your shit. There's other people that have or will be making that choice. Doesn't mean it'll put them out of business, but that's harmful to the business when you do that. If you make it so that people... Again, we're in a resort town. If, if things are so bad at one of the resorts, something horrible happens, even if you're not associated with that company, it'll hurt the entire industry of this town, which is why you need to look out and make sure that, yeah, it's kind of funny if something goes wrong and uh, someone's got delays on their housekeeping schedule. That's... We kind of go, well, that's just part of business. But if something horrible happens, there's a, an outbreak of, of, of animals or food poisoning or something like that, or God forbid something bad like a terrorist attack or a natural disaster, it would wreck this entire industry and 
tens of, if not hundreds of thousands of jobs. It's ridiculous. And they're, Nintendo is supposed to be one of those people that helps set the pace, if not being the, the, the pace setter themselves. If they fuck it up, Nintendo, Sony, and anybody else affiliated, EA, Activision, Ubisoft, all of them will, will have to adjust to that. It could tear down everything. That's what happened with Atari. They fucked up and it took everything down. And it took them 20 years to come back from that. Boom. So this is the end of video games as we know it? No. I no. Listen, that's the extreme <laughs> example. Except we, I'm somebody that lived through it the first time. I know it can happen because I've been there. And I've seen people that got overly involved. And it's not just their industry, but specifically in video games... Atari did the same exact fucking thing. Shovelware and third-party bullshit. They didn't actually invest in, in innovation. They just figured, you're going to give us your money anyways. You're a fucking moron. And then it got buried in a fucking ditch. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, Great that's documentary on Netflix. History. Just saying. The Buried Games. Um, this is... It's fucking bullshit. There isn't anything around it that, that's clearly what this is. Complete bullshit of how this entire situation was handled since launch. Again, when they premiered in July, I think, was the release trailer. From nowhere. It was in glad, like, holy shit. And off of the, of the supply, they should have known there's a great demand for this. It shouldn't have been a fucking surprise in November. Oh, we didn't know that there's a big wasn't. demand. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. wasn't a surprise. They knew exactly what they were doing. They have fine-tuned this. Think about how much effort many of us put into fantasy football. All, all these analytics that everybody tracks from what you click on through your Facebook likes and all that kind of shit. You think that that Nintendo doesn't understand how many people could possibly buy a $60 emulator? This is ridiculous. They're not that stupid. And if they are, then why do we give a fuck what they say on anything? Because they're obviously morons. I don't. Because we're three chimps on fucking Davenport's that have the same goddamn idea and we're not in the industry. <laughs> Call me a chimp. That was a Wayne's World reference. But okay. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen it. <laughs> of course, you haven't. You haven't <laughs> I haven't seen Wayne's World. <laughs> okay, so we had a show, <laughs> and he was forced to have a, a video game arcade owner come in to be his sponsor. And he was trying to, he didn't want to sponsor, and he was Rob Lowe's character forced it on him. Rob so Lowe's was, in Wayne's World? Yes. And he was, for, wow. he was forced to talk to. Noah from Noah's Arcade, get it? Like a Bible reference? Haha. <laughs> and he would make fun of him. And so Noah was like, why do I want to talk to two chimps on a Davenport? Which is funny because Mike Myers is Canadian and, you know, U.S. residents don't say Davenport. I guess we'll have a movie English. night. I know, I know there's a sequel. It's better than watching Nintendo Direct. Hey, or I fucking know. Treehouse. That's how you you make pieces it. of shit. Uh -huh. Hey, Treehouse! Uh, that's how you make it full circle. <sighs> Coming back. Full circle, even okay. though I felt like I got the circle jerk from Nintendo, this classic edition. No, because they didn't let you come. <laughs> I didn't. They just left you the blue balls. I know. And you're sitting here all angry. And I might have a chance again. I have a question to ask. Is it worth it? No. But again, obviously in December, it didn't. I didn't want it too bad that I didn't get in line sooner enough. So that's what I get out of this. Yeah, I didn't I was want there at 4.30 in the morning. It's my fault. 4.30 in the an morning. Asshole. An hour and a half. I'm an asshole. <laughs> an hour and a half before, during the holidays. I was, I was at the at the mall or whatever, the shopping center, at 4.30 in the morning to buy shit that's 25 years old. What an asshole I am. I should have been there sooner. I think when you texted me, I was at the bar. I was getting fucked up, too. Was, <laughs> now, which is the yeah. right way that you should be yeah. at 4.30 in the morning. The I know. It was like at 5 in the morning when I got in line getting company. And then I sent Mo a text. Like, dude, I'm in line. For and I'm like, classic. And he's, he's like, getting like, drunk, like, texting yeah, at 5 in the morning. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty buzzed uh, right <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get your Nintendo. Fuck Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I bundled up. I was wearing, like, three shirts, a sweatshirt, and a coat. Three and sweats. Khaki shorts. You know, I think I told them too. I was like, after you're done there, if you're still cold, come to the bar. I'll warm your ass. Right yeah, the, that, the nice shot. <laughs> the dumbass that I am is I was bundled up. I was warm everywhere, but I fucking wore socks with sandals, which is what I usually wear. And oh my feet my were gosh. fucking freezing. In the comments below, please tell him why that's fucked up. Why that's wrong, because we can't convince him. And I've been trying for the better part of a decade, so. So I, I stopped trying. But I had three socks on. I'm like, oh, I'll be warm. I had socks and then layers. But it was still fucking cold. And I was like doing a little dance in line. And then 
just crying all the way back home. I, I used my tears to warm me up. You could ice skate on the pavement. It was that fucking cold. Like, any water, like when the sprinklers break and they go on, it was fucking ice. Like, I went out there. I didn't go it was fucking cold. So <laughs> it was fucking cold that morning that I'll never forget. Home, like around 6 or 7. Oh, pussy. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, cause I got home around 6.30. because yeah. I got home around 6.00. I got cause sleepy. 6 a.m. they started handing out the sheets after like 6.10. I found That's out I wasn't you, getting you it. You go to VIP and you get a nice back massage and you go to sleep. <laughs> Get a little nap in, and you go back to the bar. <laughs> so if I don't get it, like if they, hopefully they announce it online. Like Best Buy is gonna have it tomorrow or this weekend. I'm gonna probably attempt to go what get it. What if they it. do, and it's the day of your wedding? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> but the wedding's in May, so they said the last shipment would be in April. So yeah, hopefully but they didn't get it in the supply chain until it's... they ship it out on April 30th. Goes through Best Buy's whole thing, and then they're like, "Guess what? May sixth, it's available." That's and why. It's only it's that's, a Saturday. It does make sense. They do a lot of Nintendo events on Saturday. That's why I have incredible groomsmen mm-hmm. who will be team players. Oh no, I gotta get my, my fucking tux. Yeah, <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta dress up. I have incredible groomsmen that I trust very much. Plus, I gotta drive over there. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I don't even know where this place is. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. I love my groomsmen very much. I know they love me too. Maybe I want to say fuck you, Nintendo. And just disregard the whole thing. Is Destiny available in the classic? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Or you actually buy an Indian's Classic Edition and then you record you just destroying it and blowing it up in front of me. I'm like, this is what you get. Dude, he beat us, but he actually did the right thing. Cause we, that is a good idea. Yeah. Get it. But if I don't get it, I will be driving. I will jerk off. To my tears. I will be crying. <laughs> Why do you always go to the jerk off? Yeah, you just... Using you my off tears. When you're happy, you jerk off when you're sad. <clears throat> There's no time to never jerk off. There's never a wrong time. When I'm in your house, that's the time to not jerk off. Or just when so I'm in your like, house, too. I didn't want to speak for you. I... <laughs> I'm speaking right now. Okay. I don't know what you guys got two up at the old place, so I didn't want to touch. <laughs> <laughs> the original rotation. Hey, don't throw that in here. <laughs> Why is it called rotation? That scares the shit out of me. So this went over a half hour. We'll see how long it, so all, any of this. Passionate. You can yeah. see now what it's like when someone cares. They get diarrhea of the mouth. So, hey, at least I care. But I'm still going through the five stages of grief. We'll see how long that lasts for me. Please let us in the comments below. What your feelings are of the NES Classic Edition being discontinued. And if you were able to be the, one of the lucky few to pick one up and let me know how it is and see if I should camp out to get the last shipments ever.